The reason why I love Peter B and Yusuf Dati is that these two people were eh, they just they just it's just like as if God just planned both of them and brought them from Nigeria. And I love what he said in this video. And you will be listening to this video because this man has said a lot. He has really said a lot. You see, Tinimbo and all his uh, bankrupted, corrupted people can be celebrating as they like. But it is not over until it is over. The journey had just begun. I said what? The journey had just begun. They should be patient. They should be very patient. So I have a video for you guys and uh, I'll be playing it for you to watch. But if this is your first time of coming across the card, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. Most importantly, like our videos because the more you like our videos, the more YouTube and Facebook will recommend it to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed yet. Pay attention and listen to what Yusuf that he has to say. This man is very brilliant. Obi did not make mistake. Oh. People are not play with Peter Obi. Oh. As long as Peter Obi is breathing, he will get back his mandate. So be patient. And level party, obedient. This is the time for us to support our own. They are going to take down the internet. Believe you me, they will take down the internet when Peter Obi starts. But it will not prevail. I love you guys. Pay attention. And fair elections. That is the best that we know. Nigerians must, just like we are continuing the struggle, Nigerians must continue the struggle by exercising their rights. Uh, David, yes, uh, uh, Kingsley, David, David. Many Nigerians believe, of course, they have valid reasons to believe so, that uh, the judiciary has been compromised by other arms of government. How much confidence do you have? That if your mother, if your kid gets to the Supreme Court, you will get justice in the country. Irrespective of the low level of confidence you have in any system, your responsibility is your responsibility. Nigerians contested the 2023 presidential elections through Peter Obi and my humble self. Uh, we are going to keep the struggle alive irrespective of the very low confidence we have in any system we had extremely low confidence in the promise of the government that there will be free and fair elections yet we went ahead we went ahead in, into the elections so um it doesn't matter how low the confidence it is in the judiciary the law is the law and where what's even Look, there's a confidence we have in them, and there is a confidence we have in ourselves and in our case. These are two different things. The confidence we have in ourselves and in our case is that elections, so to say, were not held. Because from the polling units, the Electoral Act 2002 as amended provided the direct transmission of results. It is that transmit, direct transmission of results that says elections were held. They were not transmitted. What results are you giving? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Now, going to the registration areas or ward collection units, no INEC returning officer, he or she, shall make entries without make a reference to the existing ongoing concurrent IREV, active IREV, which did not exist. How did they collate? If there was no valid collation, what results are you talking about? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Illegality has been performed. And as far as we're concerned, here is an incoming government for the Federal Republic of Nigeria that is illegal and unconstitutional. As far as we are concerned, it is now for the, we're submitting our case to the court, court of law. It is for them, irrespective of how much confidence the world or Africa or Nigerians have in them. Irrespective, it is for them to show again that level of confidence. Okay, any more? Yes, please. 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 Please.
against uh, when you rejected this, uh, when you rejected the outcome of this? Protest against this result. Did you listen to my posing this question yet over again? Um, if I may read it again, just for the records, which we will submit to you, while he's opening it, um, no amount of questioning will ever get Peter Obi or myself or any agent of the Labour Party or obedience whatsoever to ever preach anything besides peace and tranquility in Nigeria. We also ask Nigerians to continue to exercise their civic duties like we just did now with the um, upcoming elections. I have said that democracy belongs to the people who can practice it. Nigeria should continue to make efforts to practice democracy. Um, we, the only language we know is peace. That's the only language. If Nigerians are going to uh, achieve peace through peaceful protests, welcome. Okay. He is better than one could ever imagine. He is cheerful, he is hearty, he is healthy, he is strong. And what is more, he and I are even believing more and more in Nigeria and the Nigerian people. Here we are, our movement is less than eight months old, and we won elections in the Federal Republic of Nigeria where they have had, where they have had an eight-year concurrent government. As far as we are concerned, we won this. They refused to upload results. They refused to refer to IREV just for, for them to defeat us. It took a serving government illegality and constitutional breach to defeat Peter Abe and my humble self. I tell you we're winners. Nigerian people are winners. Nigerian people are winners. And Nigerian nation is waiting for a day that Peter Abe and myself will, through the rigors of illegal, illegality and unconstitutionality, get to power somehow one day. There was disagreement. Finally, the Senate President transmission that what they passed was not exactly to transmit from the polling units. That it, it, what they passed was to be done manually. I don't know whether it was redefining it. Um, can I? Can I? Uh, I, I? I plead not to. Um, you know. The gentleman you are referring to, the Senate President, even though I'm a Senate, uh, I was a former Senator, and uh, believe in our integrity, this gentleman, uh, as far as we're concerned, he contested presidency, and then now is an elected Senator, re um, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices as far in the same election. You cannot. It is on record he contested presidency. Supreme Court now says he's senatorial candidate. And then he sits as Senate president to give us this kind of uh, opinion. Um, um, uh, it is very, very difficult for me to say this, but I will have to say it. Such an irresponsible person must never be listened to. We went into the elections as Labour Party. We won... We won the election as Labour Party. We are going to claim our mandate as Labour Party. And we, are, and we shall rescue Nigeria as Labour Party.